Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today is uh, February 7, 2018. Um, the groundhog apparently has seen a shadow, so it means we expect more winter, and the Philadelphia Eagles have won the Super Bowl. So congratulations to you guys that are Eagles fans. Today I got up thinking of what type of content I could create, could create without any new tech to review, um, and it reminded me of an idea from the original Dobo. Great content creator. If you haven't seen his channel, I will put a link to it in the description below. Dobo tried to recreate the uh, the, the boomerang quick shot, the new boomerang quick shot, quick shot with his DJI Spark, um, and I thought I would do something similar. I would try to recreate the droney feature that I wanted to try most on the DJI Mavic, which is the uh, Comet quick shot. I tried to recreate it with the DJI Mavic, but I'm pretty sure this should work on your DJI Spark also because they both have the features or the the options that you need to create it. One would be a droney, the second would be a 360 pano. So I took the Mavic out front and I set it up to do a droney. All right, so when I set the Mavic up to do the droning, these are the things that I did. You can probably tweak them to make them work for you, whatever way you works best for you. But um, I set the droning up to go about 46 meters. And the reason for that is because the droning is gonna start off kind of flat, but then it's gonna start to elevate. And I wanted, it to, I wanted it to get a little bit of elevation before I started that 360 pano. At the end of that droning on the DJI Mavic, it's gonna start to return. Just as it starts to return, hit the stick to stop it right where it is. And then you can come out of the droning feature and then go into your camera settings and set up a 360 pano. Shoot that 360 panel, get those two files together, and then come back in the doors or wherever you may be, and then you can start working on stitching them together to create the comment. So once you got those two files, you're gonna need some editing software to kind of put them together and manipulate them so that you can stitch them together and get this to work. I use the DJI Go 4 app for stitching together the 360 panel. I use a screen recorder to kind of capture the effect and I use my standard editing software to stitch them all together. Um, so once you go in and shoot that uh, 360 panel, what you do is, and I got the drawing just to show you this. What you gotta do is you gotta go into the, the, the playback feature on your DJI Go 4. All right, so once you're in that, you're gonna find the one that has a little, I guess it has a little uh, orb icon on it that shows you that that is the um, 360 panel. When you tap on that, it's gonna give you this feature right here which is gonna show you a, a finished 360 panel. But if you hit this button right here, this little recycle or what do you call it, refresh button looking thing right here, it actually runs you through that backwards. And that's what you want to capture with your screen record. You want to capture that, doing that, and right now you can actually manipulate it. But you want to capture it going from the tiny planet. Let me get that focused again. But what you want to do is you want to capture it going from the tiny planet to the regular flat surface video. And then what you're going to have to do is you're going to play that in reverse. So now that's going from the flat surface into the tiny planet. Um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take that screen recording or however you capture that transition from the flat surface to the tiny planet and you're gonna take your droney, you're gonna drop both into an editing software and you're gonna stitch them together as if they were just components to a, a video that you're creating. You're gonna start off with a droney, then it's gonna go into that reversed tiny planet where it's gonna start off with the actual flattened out version of the 360 panel and then it's gonna wrap that 360 planet in, in that 360 file into the 360 image and then, that, and then you play it and tweak it and you get your comment. And I know, I know it sounds crazy. I just did this thing like 20 minutes ago, so it's probably not the best vlog I've ever done, but it actually works. So let me actually finish it and show you how it looks. Give me two seconds, watch this video. I mean, it was a little rough, not perfect. I'm not sure what the actual comment looks like. One of the things I had to do was the actual 360 stitch was a lot lower resolution for some reason. So I had to actually do two things. I had to do a color correction to kind of get it to match the high resolution video from the actual droney. And I had to do uh, a sharpen, just a slight sharpen to kind of clean it up a little bit so that it kind of, when you did that transition from the actual droney into the comment, it didn't look too, too much different, like two different files. And at the end, I think it worked. So anyway, short video. Just thought I'd show you guys how I did that. Um, hopefully it'll work for you if you want to try it. Leave some comments below if you try this on your Spark and let me know if it works. And let me know if you figure out a way that you can actually recreate any of the other quick shots using automation through your DJI Mavic or Spark. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, supporting the vlog. Congratulations, Eagles fans. I got something else on the drone in the drone world that I'm kind of wanting to let you know about. Um, and I'll get that video together and I'll get up to you in a couple days. So talk to you later. Bye.